Hi there folks, Gareth here from Mobile Tech Addicts and for TracyAmount.co.uk and this is the Arcos 80B Helium 4G tablet. 80B as opposed to another one. I guess it's an 8 inch tablet. Looks somewhat similar to uh, various uh, a slightly more famous tablet out there that also begins with A, but uh, we'll certainly take a look at this and see what it has. Um, the big feature is obviously this is a 4G LTE device. It's got a quad-core CPU, IPS display, dual cameras, GPS, and 8 gigabytes on board. There are other configurations, and there's one big attractive feature about this that we'll have to point out later on. So it's running Android 4.4 out of the box, Bluetooth. And it's got pre-installed stuff by Gameloft, controversial or not. On the side here, dual cameras, and that's the same kind of caper that it mentions on the front. Blurb on the bottom, QR code if you want to go to arcos.com and check out their goodies. The top here, stuff. On the side, uh, the actual tablet, what it looks like, side on view. And on the back, the other way around, we have the tablet, complete with Google Maps back of the tablet looks a wee bit uh, similar to some other tablets but then where can you go with tablets they're all somewhat similar anyway right so uh, inside we have a Android 4.4 KitKat 4G LTE modem capacitive touchscreen quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor only 1 gig of RAM 8 gigabytes of uh, ROM plus external storage that's an interesting way of phrasing it. It's not, it doesn't say micro SD or anything like that. It says external storage. Uh, back camera has 5 megapixel. Front camera is 2 megapixels. Uh, micro SD is mentioned there. Wi Fi, Bluetooth smart ready. GPS and assistant GPS. Okay, so all fairly standard. All sounds fairly lovely. And this is my first time to open it. There's it inside a nice attractive baggie. This has obviously been looked at before because this has already been peeled off. That's a screen protector there with a bit of bump on it. Right, so we have a European plug converter, UK plug converter, the actual plug itself. Which is a little bit different to the usual Arcos affair. Uh, isn't corded. We'll take the micro USB cable here. A silica gel for dinner. More sweeties. And a quick start guide, which is quite heavy on the text. They really love packaging in their little manuals, don't they? Warranty and legal information and adapter information plus technical assistance. Okay. Box comes apart quite well. Right, this is the tablet. Wow, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah, straight away. That's that's a heavy tablet. Look at that. Yeah, that's uh that's like a brush steel effect. That's very that's why it's heavy. Yeah. Looks quite a bit like the HTC Flyer. Uh, there's a bit of a lip there, which obviously this must come off then. That's where maybe the micro SD card goes in or something. Or the SIM card, I suppose that would be a better uh, analogy. Right, so on the front, like with previous Arcos devices, there does seem to be a screen protector on here. You can see just around the camera there and the speaker grill and the sensor. Well, maybe you can't because it's white, but there's a very faint outline. There is a screen protector on here, which is pretty good because there's a few scrapes on it already. <laughs> uh, nothing down here, but obviously there's uh, capacitive touchscreen buttons here. And it seems that it's been cold for quite some time, although it's been in here, in this room, and it's warm in here. Right, on this side we have a power button up here. Sorry, it's a bit overexposed, isn't it? I guess it's the silver back. Uh, there's a power button here. We'll turn it on. There we go. Uh, nothing down there to the bottom. On the bottom we have a microphone plus the micro 
USB. Continuing round, volume rocker up here. It's actually quite quite nice. It's, uh, it's not plastic. Well, it is plastic, but it's got the brushed steel effect to it again. And then across the top, we have a little speaker in there. Actually, did I not notice that? No, it's not. There isn't one here. Sorry, there isn't one here, but there is one up here. So there's a speaker there and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. OK. Ah, there's a speaker here. Right. So there's a speaker there and a speaker there. That's quite unusual. <laughs> so there's a band across here. Then this big plastic bit here, there's a little bit of ink there that shows the power symbol. And then there's a line across here. It's fairly plasticky, but that doesn't feel plasticky. That's got a nice effect to it. I guess it balances the weight quite well, although using it like that, it would get quite heavy after a while. Yeah, I suppose it would. Insert SIM card. We're not going to do that. We'll grab a Wi-Fi network. Because I know there is one update for this that uh, should arrive quite quickly. Okay. The typing on the keyboard there. I'm not entirely sure that the speaker is particularly good. But then I suppose it's, it's not going to be designed for having a lot of uh, sound coming out of it. You would generally use headphones with a tablet. Okay, it's not going to ring too often either, so you don't need uh, ringtones and things. Right, so we'll unlock it. A bit of a guide as to how to do stuff. And there we are. Simple, as we've come to expect with recent Arcos devices. Nothing too much installed. Notably, no capacitive touchscreen buttons down here. They're on the screen, so this is just blank fascia to hold. Or, yeah, whenever you're watching media. That's, that's quite a comfortable way to hold it, I suppose. You're not going to accidentally hit the screen terribly often. Right, so the uh, the tablet itself is running Android 4.4.4. .4. Baseline kernel, we'll have a quick check for an update. Your system is up to date. Right, what is installed? I did not install the extra content from Gameloft. I think it's because uh, I wanted to see this time around what there is. If you want to see what usually comes with an Arcos tablet, have a check out the Arcos 50 Oxygen Plus uh, review or the 101 Oxygen tablet the 10 inch version. So we have installed a standard, the Arcos remote sensor, server, sorry, <laughs> yep, Arcos remote server, Arcos video, calculator, uh, standard stuff, standard stuff, lots and lots of standard stuff, all the way down, Get Google standard stuff as well, was that, ah, media server here as well, so that's uh, an Arcos embedded media server for sharing and enjoying stuff that has been shared over here play new stamp play new store yeah there's nothing too much other than the standard arcos set of applications that you get on most tablets very nice means there's not too much to talk about we'll have a quick look at the camera Let's see how it works I'll see how it works see how it functions a lot of smear on the screen there Slow as hell. Yeah, you're not going to be winning any awards with this camera, but then it's a tablet, and people who use a tablet to take pictures pretty much deserve the quality of picture that they get from it. So there's a heck of a lot of vibration that comes off it. Those looking for that quality feel should check this out because that is quite a high quality feel. I'm just remembering that I, I haven't actually gotten into the back yet. Sorry, that's not a speaker up there. That's for you to rip the back off. 
that. So under here we have the camera, a bit of cardboard, uh, an SD card slot, SIM 1, or SIM 2, SIM 1. Notably this is a full size SIM, that must be micro SIM as opposed to nano SIM. There is a considerable size difference there in the SIMs. I don't have any knocking about right here right now, so I can't show you, but that is a full size SIM there. See, it's about the same size as my thumb, and then that's quite a bit smaller, maybe about the same size as my baby finger, which this is not. And then SD goes in there. So uh, there was no update there, so I don't know whether or not this is getting the fusion uh, storage solution which links your SD card to the main device. That clicks together. It's quite stiff, but uh, there you go. It's back together and it looks a little better now that uh, it's not popped up there. And there's a bit more ink there with the up and down. But yeah, if, if this has the, uh, the fusion on it and allows you to put a 64 gigabyte SD card in there or 128 or something like that and then link it together with the 8 gigabytes that's already inbuilt. This could be quite a nice device. Obviously Arcos uh, make the the Tesco Huddle uh, tablets so they know what they're doing whenever it comes to cost effective fairly high quality uh, tablets and they have been doing them for years. But this is quite shocking really that this this back to it. I am actually quite taken by it. I like it because it does give the tablet quite a bit of heft. It's heavier than maybe an iPad mini, but uh, it's certainly lighter than a, a regular iPad. Well, maybe not an iPad Air, but uh, it you know you're holding it. You will probably tire of holding it in the one hand after a while. You can see quite quite easily that there is quite a distance between the actual plastic of the screen and the screen itself. A lot of uh, phone companies are pushing their screens right up to the front, so there's a zero air gap between the screen and the actual plastic that covers it. Uh, this does have a considerable considerable gap that looks maybe about two millimeters, so the the screen does feel recessed back into the device, so the colours aren't quite as popping. But that said, it's, it's not a bad screen. It's It looks quite good. If we go right up close to it and try and focus in around here, you see a bit of interlacing there, but uh, yeah, the pixels aren't yeah, they are. <laughs> they are quite visible. So, yeah, that's the Arcos Helium 80B 4G variant. I don't have a 4G network to test it on. It's the wrong way around. But it's it's nice looking tablet. It's fairly standard. It looks a bit bland and boring from the front, but whenever you turn it over that's impressive. That's nice. That's that's a high quality tablet right there. A lot of people will be turned on by this. Um, I know I certainly do like the feel of it, and I could imagine holding it um, on my way into work and things like that on my commute. But it's just whenever you turn it over, it looks so boring on the front. This white band around here. There's a scuff. No, I must have just dropped it on a bit of pencil eraser or something like that. Um, that's really boring right there. It is, it's so deflating to turn it over and find this white bezel on it because it's not, it's very bland and unexciting. And this is the part of the tablet you're going to be looking at the most. They could have really put a bit more design effort into the front whenever they've done such sterling work with the back. Hopefully this is going to become a regular theme for Arcos because that is lovely. It's not lovely for someone like me who's got a big light sitting over there, but uh, it is, it, it's so striking, so very, very striking. You will turn some heads having this on the train because it's such a nice big lump of brushed steel. Yeah, yeah, I do like it until you turn it over. Ugh, right, okay. Uh, so that's the Arcos 80B Helium 4G. 
One half of it is nice, the other half, not so much. Right. One of those nights, the other half, not so much. Fair enough. Okay, well, uh, check back for more unboxings, and uh, we'll have a video up, hopefully it might already be there, um, of uh, Arcos's new fusion storage solution for the uh, for their latest range of tablets and phones. Possibly not this one, but uh, we I can't comment on that just yet. And uh, take care now.